What's going on guys? AJ here from Colorado Fisher and in today's episode we're going after some lake trout aka Mackinac. We're going to use spoons like Cast Masters and Little Cleos to get into them. No bait which makes it even more fun. We just had a snowstorm so in this video if you see me wearing different clothes it's because I came out after work so limited amount of time but we got them in that time. I want you guys to sit back enjoy the show and hope we'll learn something. Let's take you down to the GoPro. All right, guys, what I want to show you is uh, what I'm using here is a half an ounce cast master and silver gold works too. And I'm going to tie on a improved clinch knot so I don't lose that fish or it comes off while I'm jigging. Very important to get a, a good knot. Tie that on and of course test the stress. Always test the stress of the knot because you don't want to find out that you tied a bad one down there. What I'm also using with this is a 10 pound P line fluorocarbon with a president reel in 3500 and I got a St. Croix Avid medium fast action six foot six you just cast and let it hit the bottom since I've got a half an ounce it's gonna go fast but I've been using the other quarter ounce which takes a lot longer to get down both of them work you want a little bit of her fish you can go with a little bit of our cast master either way you'll be fine beautiful day so I think we've reached the bottom so it's stopped moving. So now let's retrieve. Double lift, stop, double lift. It's basically the gist of it. And when you get close, I'm just bringing it in. Half ounce cast master. Switch up your side so you're covering new areas where the fish haven't seen a lure before. I think your chances are much better that way. The other setup I have, by the way, is a President Reel, just a 2500 with a Fluger Medium Fast Action President Reel and Rod Combo with a half an ounce Gas Master in Silver with six pound P Line Fluoro. I always go with Fluoro, guys, because I just love my chances, you know. Happening is they're spawning on these shelves in about 20 to 40 feet of water. They're going to be aggressive and they're going to attack. So, lure stopped going down. I'm going to close this bale, tie that up, and then a couple of jerks. And then stop a couple of jerks feet when you feel it tight you just jerk again let it drop it's fluttering pretty much is what it's doing then a couple of jerks single hops work too let it go down a couple of jerks again basically this is a sandy bottom until you get closer then we kind of pull out but that sandy bottom shelf transition is where they're hanging at now there we go so it's on the bottom i'm tightening it up hop hop Pop, pop, pop. Something jumped by that rock way over there. Yeah. Damn, she must be. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, way out there. See? We're still oh. biting. I can't tell how big. When they're out there. What do I have? You Is got... it just that it's way out there, Rick? Way out there? It's actually a decent fish. Oh yeah. Alright guys. There is that fish. It's beautiful. I had to go down there and get it. <laughs> they're so fun to fight. Something to consider is uh, picking up a, a few of these cast masters in either gold or silver. Silver will work better. Uh, so I would just say make sure that you uh, definitely have those with you. Tubes work, but spoons do the trick, I think. A lot more fun and a lot better. Wow, guys, got him there really close to shore. Better size. Much better size. Still nothing large, but that is a nice, thick female. Please watch your hands, especially if you're releasing them. Oh, what a beautiful female. Yeah, 
Oh, got one. Got one, guys. Towards the shore. No, I don't think so, but. He said fish. Why? What did he say? Oh, Paul's making fun of me. He said, if AJ caught one, they must be really easy. All right, guys. Here we go. Nice little trapster. Yeah, guys, not a bad fish. We're going to let them all go. A storm just happened, so I think uh, these fish are going wild during a storm and post-storm. It's just a heads up, guys. I'm probably going to uh, cut out a lot of the falling of the lure. Just a little too much as far as uh, waiting. I don't want empty silence while you guys are watching a video and learning something. Just know that it takes a couple of minutes to get down there. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Stay pinned. Got him way down there, so probably not too big. Just the average size we're getting. This episode today isn't about catching huge fish. It's more about using spoons with no bait to get yourself some Lakers. Whether you want to go home and smoke them, they're pretty good smoked. However you want to cook them. We did a show how to bake lake trout, which you can see about the links on either side of the screen. The reason we're using these cast masters, you guys, there's a lot of minnows in this water that we can see swimming by. So what these cast masters do is mimic those small bait fish, which is what these lakers are munching on a lot of times when they come to the shoreline. Because you can see all these smaller fish hiding from probably, you know, the predator fish like Max and Tiger Muskie. So, Castmaster is very effective for that reason. Uh, tube jigs also white. Just as you'd imagine, during ice fishing, they work in open water. Those, I slowly bounce on the bottom and keep it more paused than I would with a Castmaster. Right, Rick? Snag? All right, guys, I'm gonna put this down for a second. I'm gonna help Rick. Probably our average, right? Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're getting him. That's, not average. That's all right. There he is. Another average one, but, Looks like a man. but we're having fun. There you go, man. We've had our fun. We're gonna let him spawn, live another day. I encourage catch and release of all fish. I don't know if I've ever said that, but that's what I always practice. I don't eat fish, so catch and release and let other anglers have fun. But you wanna keep some? Cool, they taste great. Have yourself a ball on two. I just love fishing for these aggressive fish. So much fun, especially when they reach up to 30, 40 feet, or 30, 40 inches. They're super fun. I notice if I'm not letting it hit the bottom and bouncing it enough before it hits the bottom. So when it's fluttering, but right before the bottom, I hit it up. Probably what caused that bite for me to catch that fish. So not too slow. You don't have to go too slow. You can kind of speed up your retrieval and hop it. So try not to let it drag at the bottom. So you see how I'm not letting it hit the bottom too much. I'm pausing less this time, meaning I'm tightening it up and then hitting. Tightening up, hitting giving it about a second and a half to two before each hop. One to two, hop. Got him, got him, got him, got him. See how I did that? Oh yeah, feels heavier, but Rick made a good point, guys. When it's further away, it feels like a tank. About a thicker 17, 18 incher. Let's get this guy, there we go. Let's let him go. I think. Rick. Is on one over there? Right here, right here. Right here. He's got a beautiful dark male. Awesome, man. Cool. Right on. While my line is going down, I want to explain that low light means everything for the bite. The first few hours from the when the sun rises to about 9, 10 a.m., the bite is on fire. Same with 3.30 to sunset. So make sure you're fishing those because that is key. I would say about every 10 fish, check your line. These fish have teeth and you don't wanna have your line broken off like my buddy Rick. When he caught something big, it snapped him off. He never got to land it because his line was way too frayed up. Mm -hmm. 
So it took about 38 seconds on the GoPro to go down. So we're talking about 40 feet then. So they're hanging about 20 to 40 feet, some suspended, some towards the bottom, but very aggressive. Got one, we got one. Ooh, he's my card out of nowhere. Ooh, man, that's a good fighter. Oh no, that's a good fish. Look at that. Don't wanna let her bounce her head much. Move around. I like moving around. Giving myself an opportunity. I'm an opportunist. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we got him. Oh man, all I had to do was make sound effects. Wow. Uh, just like all the others. Feeling heavy. Another nice heavy male. Oh, oh man. Whoa. <laughs> Wet feet. Wet your hands. That's a nice fish, guys. If I'm to say that's a 20. feeling weak over here from the catches. Never thought I experienced that. But when they're this deep and tend to get this chubby, beautiful. How could you not want to film? The place is gorgeous. We're gonna release them underwater. Breaking, breaking Takes a lot longer to get down, but easier to work back up. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Ow, oh, man. Gosh, I have no power in this hand. I have to use my stomach. That's a good fish too. That's a good fish. It's not that I don't have power, they're just bigger today. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat it again. Alright. Oh my hand. Wow. Look at the mouth on that thing. What a nice long fish. Another male. That one went way out there to the void where the fella kid was bigger than it really is. So we're gonna get out there, catch one more, call it a day. Can't feel them. Ooh. Oh, nice female. Get the hook nice and easy. 
Look how beautiful dog she is. All right, guys, this is my last cast. I'm dropping it to the bottom. Once it stops, I'll be retrieving. I hope that you guys learned something today. This is really easy. Just cast it out. Let it get to the bottom. Slowly work it back. Between each hop, give it two seconds. And then jerk, jerk. Give it two seconds. Jerk, jerk. Vertically. Like you'd be ice fishing or something. And uh, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And we'll see you guys next time on another video. Wherever we go. Oh,